Fergie risks fury, claims Harry and Meghan should be proud of Megxit. Sarah Ferguson risked sparking anger by claiming Prince Harry and Meghan Markle should be proud of their actions when reflecting on what Princess Diana would have thought. She was speaking during an appearance on Good Morning America, GMA, where the Duchess of York was promoting her new novel. The Duchess, affectionately known as Fergie, claimed Diana would be so proud of her sons and their wives. Harry and Meghan sparked a royal rift in 2020 by stepping down as senior members of the family in a move dubbed Megxit. They went on to make a series of serious allegations against the royal family, with one member accused of using racist language in an interview with Oprah Winfrey. Meghan and Harry moved to California in 2020 shortly before the U.S. state went into coronavirus lockdown. Shortly after they were spotted delivering supplies to vulnerable Los Angeles residents. They have also launched their non-profit Archewell and have since signed major deals with Netflix and Spotify, to produce films, documentaries and children's shows, and a podcast series, respectively. Megan will serve as executive director of Pearl, a children's show based on inspiring women from history. Sarah made her appearance on GMA Promoting Compass a novel, which tells the story of a royal rebel in 1895. Speaking to Variety an industry insider said Fergie is already in talks with at least one streaming service, which could look to adapt the book. Separately a new animation series of Prince George has sparked fury over fears it is opening the Cambridges up to bullying. U.S. show, The Prince, imagines the life of the royal family through the satirical eyes of the son of Prince William and Kate the Duchess of Cambridge. However, the show has already sparked outrage as Prince George's only age date. A Twitter user wrote, Personally I think that they could have still done a, a TV show based on a royal family and loosely based characters on various members but the fact George, Charlotte and Louis are real underage children it doesn't sit right. Adults are fair game but the kids is too far. I watched the trailer and didn't think too much on it but in reflection it will really open up the Cambridge children to bullying. If they were grown up slash adults and then this was released it wouldn't be so bad. 5.30 AM Update, William and Kate sneak into West End performances and pubs on romantic day nights. Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William are surprisingly normal and love going to the pub, and eating homemade bolognese in front of the TV according to a royal expert. Details of the couple's date nights were shared by Duncan Larkham, who has been covering the royal family for more than a decade. Speaking to OK, he claimed William and Kate are able to sneak into events unrecognized when off-duty. Mr. Larkham said, they like to go to the West End and they usually manage to sneak in without any fuss. They keep a low profile and do normal things without anyone noticing, just like Princess Diana did. 4.30 a.m. Update, Prince Harry's voice rarely heard between royal walls, may have been triggered. Prince Harry's voice and opinions were rarely heard in the royal family, and this may have triggered his outspoken behavior, a friend of Eugenie and Beatrice claims. The princesses, Harry's cousins, are described as sympathetic to recent remarks the Duke has made in interviews, despite perceptions they have stirred controversy. The pal said, they believe Harry's outspoken remarks may have been triggered because previously his voice and opinions were rarely heard within the royal family. The source claims Harry was seen as the resident joker in the royal family, making eyes roll when he shared an opinion on serious topics. 3.30 AM Update, Kate and Prince William nervous about internet trolls targeting Prince George. Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge and Prince William are said to be nervous for Prince George's future. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's firstborn son turns eight years old on July 22, and is third in the line of succession. But a royal source has said William and Kate are afraid of overexposing George in case he gets harassed online. A source claimed Kate and William are concerned that George will be subject to new pressures they did not have. 2.15 AM Update when will Lilibet Diana meet the Queen? The occasion which may bring Sussexes back to UK. Lilibet Diana was born nearly two months ago but has not yet met members of the royal family. So when will Lilibet meet the Queen? 
Lilibet Diana is Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's second child and was born on June 4, 2021. Her birth was announced by Meghan and Harry, with the touching meaning behind her name, honoring two important figures in Harry's life, his mother and grandmother. Despite the touching tribute to the Queen, whose childhood name was Lilibet, she has not yet met her great-granddaughter and has not seen her great-grandson for a long time. 1.45 a.m. Update, Prince Charles tense fallout with Prince Andrew in Royal Clash, pay for it yourself. Prince Charles had a tense fallout with Prince Andrew as he urged his brother to pay for luxuries himself. A royal commentator has claimed this week Prince Charles will act more quickly to take on a new approach in dealing with the fallout of Prince Andrew's relationship with sex offender Jeffrey Epstein. Andrew has been placed in the background since his disastrous interview with BBC Newsnight in 2019, and royally U.S. host Molly Mulshine summed up the royal family's handling of the issue this week. She said, How is it possible that we can't hold this person accountable when we kind of know what the deal is? 12.15 a.m. Update, Jeremy Clarkson claimed Queen had right to tell Prince Harry to get lost, not royal. Jeremy Clarkson said the Queen had the right to tell Prince Harry to get lost in a furious outburst over laying wreaths at a Remembrance Sunday event. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have found themselves in a fresh royal row as the Duke prepares to publish his memoirs. Sources within the royal household have told of fear amongst close family members of Harry, with Prince Charles and Prince William reportedly shaken by the news. But one royal figure has stepped to their defense today. Sarah Ferguson. 11.30 p.m. Update, Kate and William's heartwarming wish for George, don't want him to grow up too quickly. Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, and Prince William have one heartwarming desire for their firstborn Prince George, according to a source. Prince George is the third in line to the throne and has reportedly already been introduced to his future role.
accurate and wholly truthful account of his life. However, Prince William is said to be concerned by the news, and one royal expert had claimed Harry's new project could be especially damaging for his brother. Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of Majesty magazine, said this week that Harry could say inappropriate things about the firm, with terrible consequences for William. 4.25 p.m. Update, Meghan Markle furious over father's legal bid to see grandchildren, sensitive ground. Meghan Markle will be furious if her estranged father publicly humiliates her by taking her to court for the right to see his grandchildren Archie and Lilibet, a relationship expert has claimed. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will likely respond aggressively to a threat from Thomas Markle to head down the legal route. The former Hollywood lighting director's fractious relationship with his daughter has been played out in the public eye since before she married the Queen's grandson.